ready? Hello and welcome to episode number 190 of What Does This Button Do? It's an educational show about smartphones and technology with us geeks on tour. Today's beginner's lesson is, uh, what is a blog and how does blogger work? <laughs> <laughs> and in case, that is a picture of our blog. Now I'm talking about our personal life travel log blog. And I did put the link to it in the, in the chat in case anybody wants to go take a look. It is interesting how I have been re revived, revitalized in writing in the blog during this pandemic stay at home time. So, so I figured this would be a good topic for this week. All right. Well, you have a quick tip for us? Yeah. The first thing, and I did send this out. Those of you who are on our newsletter email list got an email where I suggested that you go check and see if maybe you have a blog that you don't know about, and here's how. Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this quick video is how to find your blogger blog when you don't remember the web address. What am I talking about? Well, I happen to have a blogger blog at geeksontour.blogspot.com. This is indeed my blog, and if I want to add a new post, I can just click on New Post right up here. But what if you don't remember that? All you have to do is, I'm going <clears> to, <throat> is go to blogger.com, because that is the system that is creating a blogger blog on Blogspot. And you sign in with your Google account. So this is the one thing you do have to know what Google account you used when you created your blog. So if you go to blogger.com and sign in, if I get signed in, then I can view my blog. And there it is, geeksontour.blogspot.com. So if you don't remember the website address of your blog, never fear. If you know your Google account that you used when you create it, just go to blogger.com and sign in. If you had more than one blog, you click on this little down arrow here. I've created quite a few. Okay, cool. And, and what I think was really fun I said that I sent out an email and suggested that people look and see if they have an old blog. And I got a couple of responses yeah. that they said, oh my, <laughs> I, <laughs> I have did. A blog. <laughs> and, and one person who's in, the, who's in the chat here, Ron, said that he even picked it back up and is starting to post again. Ah, that's so cool. That makes me feel good, guys. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, everybody, I'm Jim, and here together with my wife, Chris, we're Geeks on Tour. Do you think your smartphone is smarter than you? And you know, how do you learn about these amazing devices, the Androids and the iPhones and the iPads? Well, what do you think? Well, we are geeks who teach, and we think that the best way to learn is a little bit at a time on a regular basis which is why we came up with this YouTube show. We pick a subject each week or every other week now, it seems like, and we go into a little bit of detail about it so that you can learn. After this live show was recorded, I then write up detailed notes for our members, and those are all on our website at Geeks on Tour. Dot com. <laughs> well, Chris, where are we now? <laughs> <laughs> We're home and we've been uh, reclusive. Anybody else have hair like that? <laughs> <laughs> We're starting to 
count the days by marking chalk on a wall and the hair is getting a little unruly. <laughs> <laughs> but we're doing great. We're doing great. Our, our heart goes out to those that aren't doing as well in this time. Really? But, and, you know, stay safe, wash your hands, stay home if you at all can. Well, I want to remind everyone about our Backstage Pass. It's for our premium members only. We really thank our premium members. That's what makes this whole thing possible. And it'll be right after this show. It's a Zoom meeting, and a lot of you have already tried it. But if you haven't, it's real easy. You can click on the link that Chris sent out earlier, or you can go to our website, geeksontour.com, and on the login page, you'll see, if you scroll down a little bit, the backstage pass, okay? Wow. <laughs> I show 84 people watching. That's wow. pretty cool. And this... So, and lots of people are talking. Andrew Hatchett, I have abandoned blog number one, abandoned blog <laughs> number two. I think I've got seven of them. <laughs> Too cool. Whoa. All right. And thank you, Michael. We appreciate your, uh, it's just so nice to see that. Now, I see Thelma says that she has a blog and found it, but her pictures are gone mm. and yes that can be an issue because once you understand how the web works your pictures are hosted somewhere else and if that place has gone away then you just get what a blank square or a red x in your blog and i do have i do have some thoughts on that we will deal with later in the show okay so today's lesson what is a blog and how does blogger work it's a free place for online personal writing projects that you want. I just wanted to make sure, over the years, it's, it, it's come to mean something very different than what we started out. We've been using Blogger and keeping our blog since 2003. And then it was brand new and people were using it for their personal journal. But over the years, blogging has come to mean a business. And so many people are starting blogs and mostly on WordPress. WordPress.com is another blogging platform. Our entire business website is done using WordPress. But that's not what we're talking about here. <laughs> what we're talking about here is using a blog for your personal writing projects and we're not talking about making money with it. And we believe that blogger.com, I mean, once again, I love WordPress, but WordPress is a lot more powerful and a lot more complex. Blogger is so easy and it is 100% free. I, so we're going to show you how to make a brand new blogger blog. If you've never even touched it before, how to make a brand new blogger blog and write in it in under three minutes. Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour. This tutorial is about how to create a blog in less than three minutes. First, you open a browser window and you go to blogger.com. Blogger is owned by Google, so you do need a Google account. Sign in. I'm going to use our imaginary friend Alice Apple's account. You must know the email address associated with the account and the password, the username and password for a Google account. And that's it. Now this is the very first time Alice has ever visited blogger.com so it wants to know how she wants to be known and she has a nickname Ms. Apple. Continue to blogger. Create a new blog. Big orange button. Create a new blog. You have to give it a title. So this is Ms. Apple. A web address. The only requirement is that it's not already taken. So if I just type Ms. Apple, it will have a .blogspot.com on the end 
but it says that that blog address is not available. So let me see. Miss Apple's Live. That is available. You also have to pick a theme. This is the look and the colors, the look and feel. I recommend simple to start with. This can be changed at any time. And create blog. That's it. You now have a blog. It wants to sell you a, a true domain name, but you don't have to. You can leave it at MsApplesLife.blogspot.com. And when you get here, you create a new post. You give it a title and then you type whatever you want. When you finish typing, you just click Publish. Now, anybody, anywhere can find that blog just by going to the address. What was it? Ms. Apple's life dot blogspot dot com. And there is the first blog post. It started the archives over here. How do I make another post? If Alice is logged in and she's looking at her blog, she can just click new post over here. And I have something else to say now. Now, Alice has already written this post somewhere else. I can open up that notepad and copy the text from the notepad and paste into the blog and then publish. Now, taking the shortcut to view the blog, I can see there's that post on top and the first post at the bottom. That is how to make a blog using Blogger in under three minutes. Oh, we're back. Hey. And um, now, now what do you think? I mean, that is really true. You can create a blog from scratch for zero cost within three minutes. Then the hard part is writing in it as several of these people who have said they started a blog <laughs> years ago. But the beauty with having using a free system like Blogger is it will stay there. You know, it won't go away because you stopped paying for it. Now, you might have also noticed that that blog looked pretty ugly. Well, that, that can be fixed. There's lots more that you can do with the Blogger. And we have lots of videos on geeksontour.com. But... That, that was just a first real quick blog. Now, we want you to meet somebody who has, who has used her blog for travel re memories, and we know her well from the RVing world. We want you to meet Cool Judy. I'm here with Cool Judy Reinheimer. We've known each other for many years because of being RVers together and going to lots of RV rallies. And she has a blog called Cool RVers on the Road. Now, Judy, I know that you're pretty cool. Tell us where the name comes from. Well, for 40 years, my husband and I lived in Cool, California. And that's my signature line that yes, there really is a cool California, but it's also an attitude as a community college professor, quote unquote professor. I taught internet classes before there was the World Wide Web and Cool RVer always got an interesting response when I would do a group showing with a projection to a class of 18 year olds and I got propositioned on how cool are you? So I've kept it. I've, I've moved from cool California this last year when my husband passed away. But as readers of my blog will learn, I have kept what we called our plan in place. People can learn about me by hitting this blog. It's now been updated to cool RVers on and off the road. And you're near, you're near your family now, right? Yes, I have one daughter and a couple of grandsons, and I like to share, as my daughter says, 
too much information, mom. I'm an educator. So I try to educate as one of my purposes. So in this first year, it was how we got ready to go to Alaska, all the research on the trip started. And then starting out on the trip, I actually traveled with just one other RVing friendship group, but we had fun en route. I learned how do I could stage a photo of us on Interstate 5 by looking at highway cameras and looking at the upcoming overpass that I knew had a camera on it. So I captured photos of us on a highway. Oh, wow. So it was screenshots and it was fun. And it was the challenge of trying to learn Blogspot as or a blogger, which is what this program is going to be about. I had literally hundreds of followers at that point. Great feedback. Now, but what, what really was your purpose? Was your purpose to get followers? Are you trying to make money with this blog or? Absolutely not. I have never put an ad link in my blogs. I was fortunate I didn't need to. I wasn't doing it as a business. It gave me an outlet. People have told me I should write and I don't have a book in my head. So travel was how I tried to do it. But speaking of books, so people tell you you should write a book, right? I look at this blog and I say, you have written a book. Have you printed it? You know, have you put it into an actual book form? No, I haven't. I have a box of reel-to-reel audio tapes from my radio days, but nothing to play it on. So <laughs> I decided I was going to take advantage of one of those promotional ads. I could capture my decade on Facebook. And after months of waiting, it arrived in Livingston, Texas. Unfortunately, the package came damaged. It got sent back to the sender. And I am still, four months later, trying to get a copy of my 10 years on Facebook. A desk copy would be, or what do they call it? A coffee table volume would be nice. Yes, and you can do that with your blog. And it's, it's just a couple of clicks, and I would really like to see you do that, if, if only for the Alaska trip, but maybe for your whole blog. I mean, I've made one for each, each year, and they are on the coffee table. I, I love it. Each year that we were on the road. Uh-huh. Oh, super. Okay. I will, I will add that to my... So it includes the, the stories and the pictures and everything. So I asked you why you started blogging now, but I know that you stopped for, for quite a while. Facebook interfered. Mm. And I have gone back and if you'll check a few of those, they actually start out with the same headline. I'm back again. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, you did a lot in 2017. Oh, you did that alphabet challenge. In yes, I, yeah. yeah. Froggy Donna. Uh-huh got me into the uh, A to Z challenge. So here's January. It says, I'm back. Yeah, and look what, at the, do the same thing in 2014? Probably. <laughs> I'm same back. Headline. Isn't it wonderful? Your blog stayed there. I mean, were you surprised when you had left it for like two years and it was still there? No, I wasn't surprised. I, I probably would check it every once in a while. I do have a few friends who do not, absolutely do not do social media, but they subscribe by email. Well, I just know I was very excited to see that you were posting again, and I am subscribing to your blog, and I'm interested to hear about your next chapter. I am sad to hear that you will be getting rid of your RV completely, and we will be telling, giving people a link to your blog here, if that's okay, because I know in your recent post, you talk about selling your RV. Yes, and I actually included some links right there on the screen to a photo album. So I've been using my gallery to create albums. And so I did a tour with 75 photos of the album because with social distancing, you cannot 
come see it in person, but I gave you every picture I had on my phone. Um, it was a way to provide information for somebody who cannot come to Brentwood, California to see it. So just to kind of wrap it up, do you advise other people to start blogs? Or if, if you do, you know, who is the proper candidate for doing a blog? Somebody who wants to share information. As I've said, I have friends that do not do Facebook or more friends getting off of Facebook because of all the extra stuff that shows up. I'm able to tell my story the way I want it to be heard. Mm -hmm. So it's my story and it comes with photos to support it. It gives a chance to share and now I'm going to print out a book. The information that I keep will help future generations, I hope, understand what my heritage was. They know grandma. And they can read all about it in your blog too. Uh, how difficult do you find the blogging? Or what, what is the hardest part? I had not been on for a few years, so I wasn't sure what it was going to look like. So I went to the blog website and I called up my profile, I guess it was, to start with. And I went through the menu items on the left side of the screen to look at my formatting and things hadn't changed. I was quite surprised. Although, you know, you can keep a private blog. That's one thing I like people to know. Some, so I did if, not know about that. Yeah, if, if, if you like to write, I think that's one of the most important things. I mean, if you're just a photo person, just make photo albums then. But if you like to write the stories, and I love going back and reading the old stories, especially now in this time where we're having, having to stay at home, I go either go online to the blog or I pick up one of my blog books and just start reading and say, that was, we have such a cool life. <laughs> if I can borrow your adjective. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Very used to that reference. And it is cool that we can share with others through whatever medium they happen to have their hands on. Well, thanks so much for joining us. And I hope that you will come to our backstage party after our YouTube show. How cool is that? <laughs> very cool. That's very cool. Well, I hope you like meeting, meeting Judy. She's one of our, our favorites, people that we've met on our life on the road. And blogs are what have kept us all together. Now, you can blog about anything, you know. It doesn't have to be a personal journal. If you have a story in you, you can write it one post at a time. Or if you have an expertise. For example, I keep a blogger blog for Learn Google Photos. Every time I think of something I want to say, about Google Photos, I put it on learngooglephotos.com, and that's just a, a blogger blog. If you are by any chance interested in seeing lots of RVers travel log blogs, there is a website that compiles the whole list. Can I? Sure. Can you switch over to this? It's called hitchitch.com. Uh, let me just show you. If you, you are by any chance, chance interested in seeing itch. lots of RVers travel log blogs, and there is a website. These, that these guys at hitchitch.com have taken it upon right. themselves for years sure. switch over to, to just this. collect it's called hitch -itch links to RVers uh, let me just travel show you. If you are by any chance interested and in you seeing can lots talk of about RVers spending time on. travel log <laughs> blogs, you can and there is a go website. On these guys. On at hitchitch.com you will see have taken it upon themselves this first page. Sure. Sure. But then it goes to just on. It's left pages and dives to our viewers. Uh, uh, travel on the air. And in so you know, you know, have, 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 have fun in time. Travel <laughs> losing those. Yeah. All right. And yes, Judy will be joining us in our backstage our backstage pass. So if you have any questions for her, or she is on the chat right now, if you have any questions for her.
Next, a lot of people say, well, Blogger is old. Is it is it, old. Is, isn't Google going to kill it sometime? <laughs> and I'll tell you. They're since, known for doing that. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. And I've been worried many times. They stopped doing things in like 2012. In 2017, they added a bunch of new... Wait, wait. We're getting echo. And I have to find it. Okay. He's looking for the echo. <laughs> What did I Is do? It, no, it wouldn't be this. Uh, okay now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sound. So, Google does do this. And Blogger has been dormant several times during its lifespan. It's actually very, very nice. As Judy said, she had not posted in three years... Yet when they went, when she went back, it was it still worked the same. I I have videos that I made eight years ago, and they're still valid. I love that, but I do worry. And just recently, Blogger has come up with this new Blogger, and I want to make sure you know about that. Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and I want to tell you about the new blogger. This is the end of April 2020 and this changes all the time so but right now if you go to blogger.com and you're logged in with your account what I'm talking about is at the bottom of the left menu we should be seeing a try the new blogger. If you don't that's because you need to actually go to draft blogger.com that means you're accessing the new the beta features and for me it has automatically gone into the new blogger you can see that the list of posts looks very different now but now I have a back to the classic blogger if I click that it looks the way we are accustomed to with this new post orange button but at the bottom now there is try the new blogger click that read a little introduction and now it all looks very different probably the biggest thing to know is how do you make a new post there is no new post button anymore it's this orange plus button in the lower right so you create new post and you will also see that the menu looks a lot different. The title is kind of hard to see. Why have they done this? To make it work better on mobile devices. So you can try the draft blogger and the new blogger on a mobile device and be able to do some good stuff. I personally don't see too many new features that I like but I am very glad and there's a lot more over here I am very glad just to see that they are making changes that tells me that blogger is alive and well and we can continue to look at the options here and see them improve over on the upper right hand side is how you get to the HTML view how you save how you preview and how you publish there is no more a big orange publish button it's this paper airplane icon but check it out there is a new blogger you need to start from draft.blogger.com good okay so yeah, why are they doing this? Because you know Google it, Google lives in a world that where computers don't exist anymore. It's all mobile devices. There is a Blogger app for the Android and it's it, it's new, it's fairly new and it works but it's doesn't it's missing a lot of features. So I just want to show you why what the Blogger website would look like on the iPhone because there is no app on the iPhone so you would go to your browser Chrome browser usually and you go to blogger 
blogger.com and notice here this is the old regular classic blogger and it is really tough to see anything but if instead I go to draft dot blogger and then click on the little orange button that says try the new blogger you'll look how it's completely different and so much easier to work with on this little screen so your menu is all under the three lines like normal phone apps are and your posts are are here so that's what you have to go to draft.blogger.com and then click on the little orange button that says try the new blogger okay making a blog private uh, it's really very easy uh, the only thing is that you need to know it's possible <laughs> <laughs> And the way you do it is go into the settings. And how are we doing time-wise? Can I play this video? Up to you. I, th I think there's time. Yeah, go ahead. So, Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour. And this little tutorial is about how to make a blogger blog private. So I want to show you a blog, gypsydog.blogspot.com. And notice I can see this blog no problem. What if the owner of this blog wanted it to be private? Step one, you would need to sign in with that owner's account. Sign in and this particular blog happens to be owned by Odie Gould and I sign in. Now I am in the dashboard, the back end, <laughs> under the hood, if you will, and I click on settings. And under blog readers, it says public, and that's what it is by default. Anybody can see this blog. But if I edit it, I have a choice to make it private, only blog authors. So in this case, only the owner. And I click Save Changes. Now, to do this test, I have to sign out from Odie's account so that I can try it. I go to gypsydog.blogspot and it's not going to let me see it until I sign in. And if I sign in as anybody who is not the owner, it's still going to tell me I can't do it. So that's how you make a blog private. You may, you may have noticed that... Whoops. Ah, yeah, you cut it off. <laughs> I cut it off. I thought that was the end of it. I'm sorry. All right, well, the second part is there is also a place where instead of only blog authors, which basically is 100% private, you can put in a list of emails for people that you want to allow to see it. So it can be a group blog, a family blog. We think this is a great idea for, for families. Each of them can have the right to see a blog and not, and not the public. All right. Turn your blog into a book. I, I just love my blog books. Notice this one is 2009, and can you see how thick it is? You know, 2009, we were just uh, five, five, six years into our RVing and into our blogging, and I blogged often. <laughs> a lot. So this is one year, and it is a... 225 page book come 2016 <laughs> this is actually 2016 and 17 so this is two years and it's a 150 page book but 
I still will keep my blog active as long as possible. And one more example. This is my Picasa. You know, if, if those, of, those of you who've been with us for a while know that we were Picasso fanatics <clears throat> for many years, actually for 10 years, 2006 to 2016, I kept a, a blog. Actually, this was on WordPress, and it's, it's still there, but, you know, it's not active anymore. So I wanted the memories. So I have everything I ever wrote about Picasso. Wow. And it is 330 pages. <laughs> so how did we do this? We do it using blog to print. Just go to blog to print.com and it's and click on the button that says uh, get started. You will have to tell it whether you're on Blogger or WordPress or Typebat or Tumblr or Instagram. And then just what date. So when I go to print one year, I tell it I want you to give me a book that starts in January 1, 2019 and ends on December 31. And that's it. <laughs> there are other, you can customize it a little bit. I do put a custom photo on the front and on the back. But all you have to do is say what dates you want. And then whether or not you want a hard cover or a soft cover, that'll be between 40 and $80. Now, but a cool thing is definitely get a PDF file. Let's, let's say you don't care to have books cluttering the house. You already have too many books, but you want to have a backup. Who was somebody in the, in the chat mentioned how her photos disappeared. Well, before your photos disappear, you better get them back. <laughs> make, make, a, make sure a, make a backup. A PDF, then you know you have it. You have a PDF file of your of your blog. Now this is not some of you may have used other systems for making books. Um, I, I, the, the names escape me right now, but there are lots of websites where you can build books, but there are a lot of, of work. If you want to control exactly what each page looks like, then this is not your correct option. You need to use one of those. But if you just want a quick and easy, done, blog to print is great. And they have they have discounts all the time. Yeah, I, think. I saw one for 35% just today. Yeah. Cool. Any questions over there that you see? That you... Let's see. Bill, Olive Cousin, may we turn a photo album directly into a blog? No. No? No. But that being said, can we try showing this again? I, I think I have the sound <laughs> figured out. Yeah, I have the sound off here. Okay. So come over here. Wait a second. I ain't there yet. I have to, I have to find one where it is. Okay. <laughs> There it is. Okay. So this is our blog, geeksontour.blogspot.com. And in the, at the home page, these are our posts. And there, everyone is dated. And you just keep going back in time. But I also have menu up at the top with different things. So here is our photo albums. So yeah, if you don't care to write and you just want a place where people can see your photo albums, I guess, I mean, you could use Blogger to do that. And I do, if you wanna see our photo album from Australia, New Zealand last year, here it is. And where does that go? It's just a link to my Google Photos album. So I use the blog for twofold. Number one, to keep my stories. And number two, to be just a home for all our stuff. Okay. I see another question. Ron Brown, how do you notify people you have added to your blog? 
there is there's two two ways there's a place in in the settings where you can put in i don't know 10 or a dozen email addresses to send to every time you post but there's also something called a gadget that allows people to put in their email address so when i post i have i don't know a couple hundred people who have put their email in there saying they want to receive an email every time i post and they do they get it so and it it's just so easy <laughs> Any tips for access, accessing photos from my iPhone iCloud to my non-Apple laptop? <laughs> non-Apple laptop? Is that a PC? Accessing iPhone iCloud to your non-Apple app? Yeah, use Google Photos. <laughs> that, that is the number one reason. Well, on iCloud, you can go to iCloud.com, and there is also a iCloud Windows app. There is a Windows app for iCloud that will get all your iCloud photos to your PC. Yeah. I still think that Google Photos is the better way to go there, but but the iCloud will do it. All right. Remember to sign up for our free e-newsletters. Subscribe to this channel. And if you're liking this, go ahead and click on that thumbs up. Leave some comments there too. Uh, Become a premium member at Geeks on Tour and get Mrs. Geek's Guide to Google Photos. She is the pro. Reminding you about our backstage pass. It's an online Zoom meeting right after this show, just in a few minutes coming up. And you get the link from geeksontour.com from the email that uh, Chris sent out earlier. And check it out. Become a member. Click the bell. Subscribe. Any more questions? We do have one more. Ron Brown asked, is Gadget an app or a Chrome extension? No, it's a piece of Blogger. You see this? Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making, making them work You're here making today. me work here. I don't like working. <laughs> so back, this is our blog again. And a Gadget is something that Blogger gives you if I go into design, see this one right here. It says, don't miss a Geeks on Tour post. Sign up for email delivery. You just put your email in there. You click submit, and it is, it's done. And how that happens is in design and layout, and you just find the place on your blog you want it, usually over on the sidebar, and you click add a gadget. And these are all the gadgets that you have available. Can you create, okay, so have you created more advanced blogger videos to discuss blog formatting, text wrap around pictures, adding unique photos to headers? Yes. Yes, we do have uh, tutorial videos on our website. I think they're all, they're mostly all for members only. And... Can you create topics to organize it by? Yes. They are called labels. In Blogger, they are called labels. So, for example, I have these last, this last month, I've been keeping track of our day-to-day -day during the lockdown, and I have given it a label of stay home. <laughs> so if I click on stay home, but my favorite example, we've been to every presidential museum in the country over our 17 years of RVing, and I can just click on presidential libraries in the labels list. Yeah. And I see, I will see all the presidential, all the posts from the presidential libraries, regardless of what date we were there. And can you create, oh, okay. And then in doing a new blog, Thelma asks, in doing a new blog, can you post a picture right in the paragraph you are writing or do they have to appear at the end? Uh, there are ways to position 
the pictures. None of them work very well. I have found the best thing is to make the pictures big and let them take up the whole the whole width of of your blog. But there are you can you can have them left aligned with the text wrapped around the right or you can have them right with the text wrapped around the left or you can have them in the middle. Okay. Okay. You're sure? I, th- I think I think I got all the <laughs> the questions there. Oh, okay. If you have any more questions, you can put them in the the chat for later on, or put them in comments on our website. Yeah. Well, or if you're a member, we'll see you backstage, and you can ask your questions That's live there. That's true. And all of our premium members have access to our Q and A forum too, so you can always leave questions there if you're a premium member. Anybody can read those questions and answers, but that's what we do. Well, did you learn something? I have some questions for you. True or false? All bloggers are trying to become influencers and get paid for it. Well, that's what the news seems to say these days, but no. There are lot hundreds, thousands of people that just use it for their personal writing projects. True or false, a blog can be private and only seen by the author. True. It can be private, but it doesn't have to be. By default, it is public. Right. You, you have to change the setting if you want it to be private. Okay, to see a listing of any and all blogs you have created, browse to A, blogspot.com, B, blogger.com, C, yourblognamecom or D, wordpress.com. B, blogger.com. Okay. You'll see a link to try the new blogger if you go to A, draftblogger.com, B, newblogger.com, C, blogger.com, or D, wordpress.com. Draft.blogger.com. That's the one to go to. Blogger.com is owned by Microsoft, Apple, Blogspot, or Google. Google. Where's my Google shirt? (laughs) If you create a blogger blog and leave it inactive, it'll disappear after one year, after five years, or never. Never. So far, so good, right? It's uh, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Now they they do get deleted for other reasons, (laughs) but but just for inactivity, no. Okay. All right, Chris. What's the web? page that lists all of our YouTube shows. Geeksontour.com and the menu item is YouTube show. And the web page that lists all of our recent newsletters. Geeksontour.com. The menu item is blogs and news. All our 10 years worth of newsletters are listed there. (laughs) Okay, check it out. Why do people pay nearly $60 a year to join Geeks on Tour? Well, there's lots of member benefits. We have free courses. I'll I'll be working on one for Blogger. And we have hundreds of short tutorial videos. You get to ask us questions in the Q&A. And you get to come to the backstage pass after these meetings. And lots of people become a member just to support us and say thank you for all the free stuff we do. So next time, are we going to have a show? I don't think so. Oh, that's right. We have something going on we're, next week. We're doing weekend. an APCUG webinar on on Saturday, and, and that'll once take per weekend all... is enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're not having enough of this. Okay. So that's it for us. I'm Jim. I'm Chris. And we're Geeks on Tour. Also that... known as Propeller Heads. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. We'll see you next time. Keep pushing those buttons. What's this button do? Don't touch that button. What's this button do? See you later. Let's see. Stopping stream.